I will make a decision on Palestine. I can promise you my impartiality and respect for the law. Imagine if you are persecuted by the International Criminal Court. You never know when you will be arrested. Being persecuted is a nightmare. You start to work each day to not be arrested. Mr. Campo, no. This order is using the children in hostility. Banga is the end of the long process, seven years. He wanted an army that is loyal to him and him alone. You know how many victims are in the food? 2.5 million. I cannot go to Burma, I cannot go to Zimbabwe. All these countries are outside my jurisdiction. You want justice to be done, you want a fair trial. What that will say and what that will change if a guilty verdict is handed down. Hello, this is the, the Office of the Prosecutor. Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs of which country, sir? Of Bolivia. Hello. The International Criminal Court at The Hague has officially issued an arrest warrant for Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi. Was there ever a possibility the ICC would have taken safe Islam out of the country? I hope they do a fair trial. Not necessarily fair. You have taken me. Massive crimes are no more a way to gain or to retain power. It could be a ticket to a prison in the head. Without courage to live your dream, you cannot overcome the evil of reality. We ask this court to affirm by international penal action man's right to live in peace and dignity. Mr. President, in this international criminal court, the child soldiers will not be invisible. <laughs>